Hello, viewers, and welcome to the New Year's Diecast Monster Truck Bracket Racing Tournament, where as the night goes on and it starts to get darker, these trucks are really going to shine, because for this tournament, we have Hot Wheels glow-in-the-dark monster trucks. These trucks are incredible. What do you say we meet the first eight trucks competing today? Starting with the glow-in-the-dark bone shaker. Then we have Scorpedo. The awesome Bigfoot. The bright green gunkster, followed by shark wreck, piranha, pure muscle, and five alarm. These first eight trucks sure are awesome looking with their bright paint jobs and glowing chassis. I can't wait to see what they can do on the track. Before today's tournament begins, we would really like to wish all of our viewers a Merry Christmas and we hope everybody has a happy and safe New Year's. Thank you for watching. Now let's meet the other eight trucks, starting with Midwest Madness, followed by Batitude, then we have Race Ace, Motosaurus, Twin Mill, Roger Dodger, Invader and Podium Crasher. These 16 trucks sure look awesome. Which one is your favorite? Gotta love all these bright colors. Can't wait to see how bright these trucks get later when it starts to get darker. But to get started now, what do you say we take a look at today's racing bracket and how the races will lay out? And first up for today's race, we will have Podium Crasher taking on Bone Shaker, followed by Invader facing Scorpedo. Then we have Roger Dodger racing Bigfoot. Twin Mill will be taking on Gunkster. Moto Roris matches up with Shark Wreck. Race Ace will face Piranha. Batitude will be racing Pure Muscle. And finally, Midwest Madness will take on Five Alarm. There are some great matchups in this race here today. Let's head up to the track now to get the races started. And here we go with Podium Crasher racing out of the red lane, taking on Bone Shaker racing out of the green lane. Here we go. Green flies and they're off. Little wheel coming down the ramp into that first jump. Oh, Bone Shaker into the center, hits the center obstacle. Podium Crusher with a big jump over the back, makes it to the line for the win. That truck was so fast, wow. Let's take another look from the track cam and see what happened to the Bone Shaker as it's hanging out in a wheelie over here, half track. As the gate drops, watch Bone Shaker over in that green lane. Coming down the ramp, starts to head toward the center. Has a big crash on the center obstacle. And Podium Crasher is so smooth to take the win. Bone Shaker with a little freestyle there after that crash. But it's Podium Crasher taking the win, moving into the second round. That was a smooth run from that truck. Now let's head back up to the gates for the next pair because they're ready to go. And for our next matchup, we have Invader in the red lane. Taking on Scorpedo in the green lane. Let's go racing. Green flag, gate drops in raw. Both trucks so fast coming down the ramp. Invader a little bit ahead. Oh, Scorpedo has the same problem as Bone Shaker last round with a big crash. Invader up over the back obstacle with some huge air and takes the win. But Scorpedo had the same crash as Bone Shaker did. Let's take another look from the track camp, see what happened. Coming down the ramp, watch that green lane one more time. The truck starts having problems, heads to the center, and has an identical crash to Bone Shaker as Invader flies for the win. Not sure what's going on over there in that green lane right now. Maybe the Monster Jam Dirt Crew needs to come take a look. But in that one, it's Invader taking the win, also moving into the second round. So we'll see that truck later on. Now let's head back up to the gates for the next pair. And up next, we have the super bright and colorful Roger Dodger in the red lane, taking on the always good looking Bigfoot in the green lane. Let's go racing. Here we go, Bigfoot with a little lead coming down the ramp. Big jump from both trucks. Roger Dodger catching up and has problems on the landing. Bigfoot smooth up over the back obstacle for the win. Wow, that was such a smooth run. That was wild. Let's take another look from the track cam and see what happened to Roger Dodger on that landing and what made it crash. As the gate drops, Bull Truck so fast coming out of the gate, but Roger Dodger coming down into the ramp has problems on this landing. Starts heading to the side, hits the obstacle, and flips as Bigfoot does a slap wheelie for the win. Roger Dodger is a very popular casting in Hot Wheels Monster Trucks, but it couldn't pull off the win here. That win in this one goes to Bigfoot. Bigfoot will move into the next round. What a race. Now let's head back up to the gates for the next pairing. And here we go with Twin Mill up next in the red lane, taking on Gunkster in the green lane. Look at both of these trucks glow. This is wild. Here we go. 
Green flag and we're racing. Gungster pulling ahead, coming down the ramp, but Twinbell starting to catch up on that landing, but as problems goes off to the side, Gungster smooth over the back obstacle with a wheelie to take the win. Did you see that slap wheelie from that truck? That was sky high, that was awesome. Let's take another look from the track cam and check it out again. Green flag and we're off. Watch Gungster over in that green lane coming down the ramp. It's so smooth up over the back obstacle. Here we go, slap wheelie over the line for the win, wow. These glow in the dark Hot Wheels monster trucks sure like to put on a little show after the victory. In that one, it's Gungster doing a little freestyle there across the line. That was awesome. Now let's head back up to the gates for the next pair and see what they have in store. And up next to the gate, we have that awesome looking Motororis in the red lane, taking on that bright Shark Wreck in the green lane. Here we go. Green flies and we're racing. Shark Wreck with the little lead coming down into the first jump. Oh, but look at that air from Motororis catches up. They're heading to the center. They almost get together and they do get together. And Shark Wreck takes the win by about a tire. Motororis almost came back for the win on that one, but Shark Wreck took it. Let's take another look. As the gate drops, that shark wrecks so fast over in that green lane, but watch this air from Motororis. Jumps another three or four trucks over shark wreck. They get together and shark wreck takes the win. What a wild race. That sure was a close matchup by those two trucks. I think they both really wanted in the second round, but it's shark wreck crossing the line by a fin to take the win. That was awesome. Now it's time to head back up to the gates for the next pair because they're ready to go. And for this matchup, we have the always popular Race Ace racing out of the red lane, taking on the really bright Piranha in the green lane. Let's go racing. Here we go, Piranha with the lead, coming down into that first jump. Oh, but Race Ace has a big jump, starts to catch up, goes out of the screen. Piranha lands on the wheels, but which truck won? We're definitely gonna have to take a look from the track cam and check this one out because we couldn't see Race Ace. Let's take a look now. Watch them as they come down the ramp. Race A starts to have problems, goes out of the screen on the other shot. But which truck crosses the line first right here? It is Race A by a truck length. Another close race in that one, and it's a really good thing we have that finish line camera set up. And it is Race Ace taking the win, moving on into that second round of racing. What a wild run. Now let's head back up there for the next pair because we have a really cool truck up there ready to go. And here we go with the truck I was talking about, Batitude. Look at that wild truck. And it will be taking on pure muscle in the green lane. Let's go racing. Green flag and they're off. Both these trucks so fast coming down the ramp. Oh, pure muscle in the middle has problems and has a big crash. Batitude so smooth up over the back obstacle to the win. Wow, that truck was really flying. Let's take another look from the track cam and see what happened to that pure muscle truck there in the middle. As the gate drops, both these trucks so fast coming down the ramp, but watch that green lane and those pink tires. Oh, heads to the center again, hits that center obstacle and has a big crash. That's been a problem all day here. That sure is a cool looking truck with those pink tires and that blue body, but it's Batitude with those huge wings taking the win here in this one, moving on into the next round of racing. That truck was flying and we'll check it out again later. Let's head back up now for the next pair. And for this matchup, we have two more bright trucks with Midwest Madness in the red lane, taking on the awesome Five Alarm in the green lane. Let's go racing. Green flies and they're off. Wheel to wheel coming down the ramp into that first jump. Big air from both trucks. Oh, but they both have problems on the landing and crash. Wow. Midwest Madness lands on the wheels and makes it to the line to take the win. That was such a close race. That truck almost didn't finish. Let's take another look from the track cam and see what happened to Five Alarm. As the gate drops, watch both these trucks coming down the ramp and this landing. They both land hard, start to have problems with the big crash. Luckily, Midwest Madness lands on the wheels down the ramp for the win. It doesn't look like Five Alarm's gonna be making any rescues anytime soon with that big crash, but it's Midwest Madness taking the win, moving on into that second round. And speaking of second round, what do you say we head on over to the pits and check out the eight trucks that are moving on into that round of racing? That sure was a wild first round of racing from these Hot Wheels glow-in-the-dark monster trucks. I wonder what the second round's gonna bring. Let's check out the trucks that'll be racing. We have Podium Crasher taking on Bigfoot. Then we have Invader facing Gunkster. Followed by Shark Wreck and Batitude. Then we have Race Ace and Midwest Madness. These are some great looking trucks here in this second round. So let's head up to the gates and get the races started. And here we go with Podium Crasher in the red lane, taking on Bigfoot in the green lane. Let's go racing. 
Green flies, gate drops in the rock. Oh, truck so fast coming down the ramp. Look how quick these are. Big arrow. Bigfoot hits the center, slows up. Podium crasher smooth over the obstacle for the win. Wow, podium crasher with a big flip there at the end. But Bigfoot had the same problem a couple trucks had in the first round. Let's take another look from the track cam. As the green flies, both these trucks so fast coming down the ramp, they're really starting to glow now. Bigfoot hits that center obstacle, slows down. Podium crasher so smooth for the win. That Bigfoot truck has to be one of my favorite glow-in-the-dark trucks. It's too bad it's eliminated. But Podium Crasher took the win and will move into the semi-final round. So we'll see that truck again later on. Now let's head back up to the gates for the next pair. See what other truck will move on. And for this matchup, we have Invader in the red lane. Taking on Gunkster in the green lane. What a color match. Let's go racing. Gunkster ahead coming out of the gate down the ramp. But Invader has a big jump and starts to pass. So Invader has a big crash. Wow. That truck landed so hard on the top and allowed Gunkster to take the win. We definitely need to take a look at the track cam and see what happened to that Invader truck. That was wild. As the green flies watch Invader in this red lane, that truck has a huge jump to pass for the lead, lands hard on the top, huge crash as Gunkster passes for the win, wow. Well viewers, that was definitely the hardest crash we've seen here today, I hope that truck's okay for future races, and it's Gunkster taking the win, moving on into that semi-final round, what a wild run. Now let's head back up to the starting gate for the next one. And for the next pair, we have a bright one with Shark Wreck in the red lane, taking on that wild looking Batitude in the green lane. Let's go racing. Green flag, here we go. Batitude a little ahead, coming down that ramp. Big jump from both trucks. Oh, Batitude starts to flip. Look at those wings go up and down at the line. It's a close race. Wow. That one's definitely a photo finish. We're gonna have to take a look at the track cam and see who won this race. That was wild. As the gate drops, both trucks so fast coming down the ramp. Batitude has the same problem as earlier. Hits that center jump, starts to flip, but flips on those wings, helps it roll, and at the line it is Shark Wreck by about a tire. Wow, what a close race, Shark Wreck for the win. As night starts to fall here for this New Year's race, the bats really start to fly, but in that one it is the Shark taking the win and moving into the semi-final round. That was a wild race and close finish. Awesome. Now let's head back up to the starting gates for the next one. And here we go with Race Ace racing out of the red lane, taking on Midwest Madness in the green lane. Let's go racing. Green flies and they're off. Midwest Madness starting to pull away, coming down the ramp, but Race Ace has a huge jump. It's close over the second obstacle. Midwest Madness having problems. Wow. Race Ace takes the win because Midwest Madness crashed over that second obstacle. Let's take another look from the track cam and check it out. Coming down the ramp, it's a close race. Midwest Madness just a little ahead, but Race Ace has a huge jump. Big jump off that back obstacle to the line for the win. What a close one. Race Ace was slower out of the gate on the start of that race, but ended up taking the win and will move on into the semi-final round. That was a super fast race from that truck. Let's head on over to the pits now and check out the trucks moving on into the semi-finals. As we move on further into the dark of the night, the track color is starting to change, but these trucks are really starting to glow. Check them out. These trucks look absolutely incredible. Hot Wheels did a great job on these glow in the dark trucks. And it's really too bad that 12 of these trucks are already eliminated from competition. Maybe we should have started the race a little bit later to see all these trucks race the track like this. This is awesome. But they're already out. So let's take a look at the four trucks moving on. Starting with Podium Crusher and Shark Wreck. Then we will also have Gunkster and Race Ace. And check this out, viewers. This is kind of wild. I just noticed this. Three of the four remaining trucks, even though they have different names, all have the same style body. We have Gunkster, Race Ace, and Podium Crasher. How cool is that? Let's head up to the gates now, get the races started, and see which of these trucks will move into the finals. And for the first semi-final matchup, we have Podium Crusher in the red lane, taking on Shark Wreck in the green lane. Let's go racing. Green flag, here we go. Shark Wreck pulled away, coming down the ramp. A big air from Podium Crusher, starting catching up. Shark Wreck under Bob and off the line. It's too close to tell. That was such a close race. That was awesome. Let's take another look at the track cam and see if we can tell which truck won. Coming down the ramp, Shark Wreck starts with a little lead, but Podium Crasher catching up with this big air smooth landing. Shark Wreck having problems and at the line. Oh, too close to tell again. Let's take another look from the other angle. Watch one more time. Podium Crasher catching up at the line. It is 
Oh, it is Podium Crasher by a tire tread. What a close race here for the semi-final round. Wow. Podium Crasher has a big crash at the end of the track, running into that backflip jump. Sharkwreck just didn't quite have enough to make it to the line. Wow. Podium Crasher will take the win here in that round and move into the finals. Sharkwreck will have to race one more time to try to secure third place here in this tournament. What a wild run. Now let's head back up to the gates for the next one. And up next at the gates, we have Gunkster racing out of the red lane, taking on Race Ace in the green lane. Let's go racing. Green flag and we're off. Little wheel coming down the ramp into that first jump. Big air from both trucks. Oh, Race Ace has problems and flips. Gunkster so fast over the back obstacle and hard into the wall with the big crash. Wow. Two big crashes from these trucks, but Gunkster takes the win. Let's take another look from the track cam. They're both so fast coming down the ramp. Watch this, there they get. Oh wait, what is going on? It looks like we're having problems with the camera. Sorry about that, viewers. Looks like we're having a little technical difficulty. We'll have to get straightened out. But it is Gunkster moving into the final round and Race Ace will have to race one more time for third place. Let's head back over to the pits now and check out the matchups for the finals. What an awesome race these glow in the dark Hot Wheels monster trucks have put on here so far. And racing for third place, we have Shark Wreck taking on Race Ace. And for your final round and today's winner, we will have Podium Crasher taking on Gunkster. Let's head up to the gates and get the final round started to see which ones will end up on the podium. And for your third place matchup, we will have Shark Wreck racing out of the red lane taking on Race Ace in the green lane. Let's go racing. Wheel to wheel coming down the ramp into that first jump. It's a close race in the air up over the back obstacle. Race Ace starts to pull away and will take the win. Wow. Race Ace will take the win by about a truck length over Shark Wreck here for the finals. What a race that was. Let's take another look from the now fixed track cam. Watch them close, coming down the ramp. They're getting hard to see, but they're still glowing in the dark. It's a close race up until the back obstacle where Race Ace is just smoother and takes the win. What another extremely close matchup here for that third place race, but it is Race Ace a little bit quicker and smoother taking the win in third place here overall in this tournament today. We'll see that truck later in the winner's circle. But now, let's head back up to the gates for the race everybody's been waiting to see. This is your New Year's final round. And for this matchup, we have Podium Crusher racing out of the red lane, taking on that super bright gunkster in the green lane. Here we go. Green flies and we're racing for the finals. Wheel to wheel coming off that first jump. Big air from both trucks as Podium Crusher starts to pull away smoother and takes the win. Wow, that was so fast from that truck. What a smooth run. Let's take another look from the track cam. Oh, check it out. Gunkster's actually in a wheelie celebrating a little. <laughs> As the gate drops, both trucks are so fast coming down this ramp. They're getting hard to see, but big air from both trucks, smooth landing. Podium Crusher just starts to pull away up over the obstacle smoother and takes the win here for the finals. What a race by these two trucks here in the final round. That was awesome. But this Podium Crasher taking the win by a couple truck lengths and the win overall here today in this tournament. What a race from that truck. What do you say we head on over to the winner circle and check out the trucks that deserve to be up there on the podium? There they are. These three trucks have done great here all day long and they sure are glowing now up on the podium. Which of these trucks is your favorite? It's kind of wild that all three of these trucks have the same body style. That truck must be really fast here on this track. And there you go. Check out these glowing chassis and paint jobs here on all three of these Hot Wheels glow in the dark monster trucks. Hot Wheels seriously did such a great job on these glow in the dark trucks. These are awesome. Can't wait to collect more. And up here on this third place podium for today's race, we have Race Ace. In second place, we have Gunkster. And in first place, up there on that big podium, we have the Podium Crusher. What do you say we help all these trucks celebrate? <laughs>
Thanks again for watching Our Time for Adventures. Until next time.